<laughs> oh, I took a lot of notes about nipple sucking, y'all. Oh. <laughs> Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. You can call in about, yo, you know, this is the part of the show that we all love. Nipple sucking. Nipple <laughs> There you go. Got your notepad out. Okay. Nipple sucking. Y'all. Okay. I don't know if certain dudes like revert back to when they were babies when they perform nipple sucking, but Jesus freaking Christ. Why are you sucking on it like you're deliberately trying to get some type of fluid from it? Yeah. Ain't shit it ain't shit in there. Okay? <laughs> Why? Why are you sucking on it so freaking hard? It's not necessary. Like I we're we're here to educate y'all tonight because Fellas, get your Some of y'all some of y'all don't know what the hell you're doing. Okay. You step into However, the However. However, okay, here's, here's some, we're going to give you some scientific first. Let's, let's go with scientific first. Okay. Why does nipple sucking feel good to us? You know what? Okay. Some women, some, some, to, it's to some. Cause there was a, um, a, you know, I'm in one yeah. of the freaky groups and <laughs> the question was about the nipple sucking. Does it do anything? And I was surprised to see that some women said no, it does nothing for them. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. I was wow. actually surprised. Yeah. So some women don't get any kind of in stimulation. I was I found that highly interesting. I should have put a poll up for that. Ladies, right. Does the nipple sucking do anything for you? That's the poll right now. <laughs> Cuz yeah, okay. babies. Yeah. So um <laughs> as for the scientific part, we're going to, again, we're going to hit you with a little bit of, of education before we get to the damn shenanigans. <laughs> but Rama, why does it feel good to some of us, okay. for those of us who like it? Because I, I am in the group that likes it. <laughs> Love it. Love when it's it. done right, that's done the right. whole point of this. When it's done right. Okay. So, when our nipples are sucked Properly, keyword, properly. properly. There is an art to it. There is a hormone that is produced called oxytocin. Oxytocin, that's the love hormone. The love hormone promotes feelings of connectedness, mm. affection. It reduces stress. Yes. And contributes to feelings of comfort and ease. And it turns me on, goddammit. <laughs> okay, that part. <laughs> and then um, also feelings of trust and intimacy. So if you're doing it properly, that's just a whole heap of benefits for you. If it's producing all of those feelings for her, you know, trust, intimacy, releasing stress, um, affection, connectedness, all of that type of stuff. If y'all are doing it right, baby. <laughs> Uh, nipple sucking is the way to go um, because our nipples are actually packed with nerve endings. Mm -hmm. So a lot of those nerve endings, and this is the part that you might not know, a lot of those nerve endings actually link up with the same brain region that corresponds to our genitals. Yeah, I didn't know that shit, did you? So, and then the part that blew my mind was that some women can actually orgasm from mm. nipple sucking, nipple sucking alone. Mm -hmm. No other, no other penetration, no other stimulation, nipple sucking alone. If you're doing it properly, she's orgasm. She's orgasming just off of that off top. I'm not one of those. Yeah. <laughs> 
Like because, I need a little, something and, extra going on. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> you're just sitting there amazing. making the way. It feels, it feels great, but I'm not orgasming off of that alone. Just yeah. I'm just gonna put that out there. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know like the brain connection and um the oxytocin hormone. Like I didn't know all that. I just know this shit feels good when it's done the correct way. But if you suck in like your life depends on it, I no, it calm down, number one. <laughs> calm yeah, down. Motivated, <laughs> like, you know. I'm gonna need you to, you know, take several notches. Take off. it on and come on, come on, come on now. God damn. Yeah, don't don't do it too hard. <laughs> um, but y'all, the, the nipples are packed with nerve endings. So by all means go to town, but do it the right way. Okay. What's the proper way, Lord? So I have some tips for you. If you, if you don't know, you know what what the proper way is. So here are some tips. Experiment with intensity. You know, some women's nipples are more sensitive than mm-hmm. others. Mm-hmm. So you don't want to lump all women together. Like maybe one woman likes you to suck that shit hard and flick it and pinch it and some women might like that. Not all women are going to like that. So you're going to need to experiment with the intensity. You know, if if you if you you know give a certain intensity and you see her react, like y'all also got to pay attention to body language. Mm-hmm. A lot of y'all don't do that, and I'm gonna need y'all to start. Pay attention to her body language. So experiment with intensity. If you notice that she's responding, keep doing what you're doing. If she's sitting there and she's fucking stiff as a board, change it up. It's not working. Change it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number two tip, use your tongue. Thank you. That's pretty much self-explanatory. Third tip, change the temperature. So maybe you sip on something that's warm before you put your mouth on her nipples that will make her respond. Or for those ladies that like cold, put an ice cube in your mouth or sip on something really cold Mm. and then put your mouth on her nipples. Maybe she'll respond. I, however, am not one of those. I do not like cold whatsoever. I'd rather you sip on something hot before you put your mouth on my my nipples. Okay. Number four tip, add toys. You'd be amazed at what vibration will do for a woman's nipples. Um, those are my tips. Do you have any tips, Maggie? <laughs> you pretty much cover it all, honestly. Um, but yeah, like <laughs> use your tongue, not your damn teeth. Yo, God. Like, what are you biting for? This this is not a meal. Think ice cream. You shouldn't be biting ice cream. <laughs> And then you it's need to be delicious. able, because some some will just go to the breast and think that's just like you said. Some women kind of will get an orgasm off of that, but I need you right. to be able to multitask just a little bit. You know, you up here, you you know, you do you know, got to be a little bit more going on during that right. moment. Um, because some because to me that's just like okay, when we gonna get to the next part? You know, right. <laughs> Jamal said, right way, fellas, caress, gently lick, kiss. Um, you got to make oral love to the nipple. Most importantly, focus on just them titties for a good while. I'm just saying, works I like am, a charm when I do it. Hey, I'm there you go. Today. I'm hot <laughs> now. My AC went out. So if y'all see me over here sweating today, oh, I no. am. Girl, yeah, I'm over here burning up. I'm sweating because I'm drinking. <laughs> well, I, and I'm drinking, I'm so I'm hot. making it worse. But I am hot. So if y'all see me just over here doing all this, I am hot, y'all. So today was yeah, a good I'm, day to be naked. I'm too. I'm, I'm high. On that. And then I'm not wearing a bra, so I'm like, Jesus, my titties are sweating. So it's getting it's getting really warm under here. It's getting so, hot um, in here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sweating all in my boobs right about now. It's it's not wow. cute. Wow. It's worse when you're not wearing a bra. It's so, not cute, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does yeah, Hamin yeah. do anything? Yay. No damn teeth. I I Exactly. No teeth. Where teeth is it? Not allowed. See these pop these things going too fast. I'm trying to get to the does humming do anything? Does humming do anything? That's vibration. So yes, mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I would recommend that. 
Mm -hmm. So while you're licking or sucking on her nipples, hum or moan. The vibrations from your voice is is going is going to create something. So yes, I definitely recommend humming or moaning, which, whichever. And J just case style motorboat, motorboat them titties, <laughs> them nipples. Motorboat them nipples. Now you can motorboat them. There's there you can, you know, get in there and you know, especially bigums over there, you know, you gotta get in there and make hey, sure you get, pick them up, lift them up and put them put them put them put them both together and pack a bowl. Go to the, go to town. <laughs> If you got to put something else there, go ahead and go to town with them. But no teeth, fellas. It can be other body parts. Absolutely not. Absolutely no teeth. It can be other body uh, parts, though. Just giving you a hint, hint. <laughs> but. That part. <laughs> no teeth. No teeth. Um, mm -mm. I used to thought it was like an ice cream sandwich. As long as you're licking and not biting. Hey. Ice cream mm -hmm. sandwich, that's a good analogy. This used to be a joke someone said that, like, you got to give both of them love, too, because it, it, I forgot what comedian that was, but it's like, you pay, you know, you paying attention to this side. What about the other one? She need love, too. Right, right. I, you be focused on one. Oh, yeah. Like, no, both of these needs a little attention. I shouldn't be doing this while you over here. You need to be <laughs> giving these undivided attention at all times. Equal. Now, me, maybe I'm weird, but I don't really care about the right one. Now, the left one, if you give the left one attention, especially while you up in it. Is that the bigger one? Yes. My left one is the bigger one, and it's more sensitive than the right. See. So I don't really care if you if you do anything with the right one. But that left one, baby. If you take do it, that one take, right. Take your notes. One or the yeah. other might work better. So you're figure doing, it out. You're doing something if you pay attention to the left one. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. And nothing like taking a long day of work and taking that bra off. You have oh to God. let them things rest. I mean, on a regular day, I'm not wearing no bra. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I'm answering the no. No bra. <laughs> See, me, I, don't care. I feel I feel so unproductive if I'm not wearing a bra. Like Correct. I can't Correct. totally get into my workflow and my mm -hmm. work day mm -hmm. unless like when I get up in the morning, even though I work from home every single day, I have to put on a bra and I have mm -hmm. to change out of the clothes that I slept in. If I don't and you have to do that. If I don't, I'm not productive. At yeah, all. you don't so I've I've learned that about myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've I've learned that about myself. Together at eye level. Yes. There you I go. I mean, hey, that, I mean, tackle both of them. Look so, at mean, them. Both, both, is, <laughs> both is better than none. Shit. Don't, don't ignore them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sweet, sensual, caressing, passion, making love, firm, soft grit, using your tongue to passionately, emotional love to them. Oh, yeah. You're making love to the city. Okay, John. Okay. Yeah, we might, yeah. We, why, we might need a uh, tutorial. All, all that energy, I, I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> we might need a uh, a private party so we can find on this plan. Just left, 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 right, left, <laughs> left, 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 right, right. Yes, figure it out, Just K Styles. Figure that it hey, out. Figure it out. I mean. <laughs> Her body's gonna tell you if you're doing it right. Yeah. Or she's gonna give you that. And then I, I wanted to go back to the person that said it didn't. My girl, um, um, it was I think it was John. It was saying that basically his girl didn't care for her nipples um being sucked. It wasn't something that um she enjoyed. And see, every woman is different. So you can't no, go Malcolm. into it. You can't go into it thinking, you know, one woman is going to like what another woman likes. Like, you, you're you failing at life if that's your mentality. Like, I did this and, it, you know, it killed her, so I'm going to try it on this one. Mm -hmm. Don't be surprised if that shit don't work because not every woman is the same. So... <laughs> mm. 
pussy. It's the uh, it's the yeah, natural it's a, motion natural of titties motion out of the bra of the that bra I absolutely that love. I absolutely <laughs> love. Just walk around for me without the bra on, please, ma'am. Yeah, like if I have shit to do weekends, weekends if I'm at home and I don't gotta go nowhere, I don't gotta step outside this house. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. no bra. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, pop, no bra or just I don't have any clothes on at all. Period. Yeah, my yeah, my child. I think I was See, out the shower. Hmm? Here's a prime example. She doesn't care for her nipples to be touched. Here you go. Prime yes. example of what one woman likes, another woman may not like. So, Y'all call in. Call in. We want to hear these stories. Why don't you yeah. like your nipples? What, what Does it not give you any kind of sensation? Is it? She said rubbed or sucked. No thanks. Ooh. She said don't, t- don't touch her nipples. She's not, she's not here Ooh. for that. But yeah, I was saying, I, yeah, I love walking around naked. I, my child likes to come in my room. Mm-hmm. I'm straight out the shower. I have a shower in my bath, my bedroom. She comes out and I'm just like, hey, you shouldn't be in here. Mama, put some clothes on. Um, uh, 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 uh. You in the wrong place, honey. Get out. Okay. Because <laughs> if this is my room and I walk around butt ass naked, if I want to. Okay. <laughs> if you. Yeah, I want to hear it. Mm-mm. I mean, I've been scarred for life. My mom used to just be butt naked walking around, so <laughs> I'm used to it. I've seen naked women all my life, and it's just like, okay, whatever. Right. So you better get used to it, too, because mama ain't putting there no clothes go. on, especially when we ain't got no AC in the house. I am burning up. So yeah. you best believe I'm naked, butt naked. So don't call me. No FaceTime me right now, because uh, <laughs> right. you might get a nice little surprise. <laughs> or you're gonna be looking at the ceiling. You ain't gonna of course look at she me. walk around naked. She said that. She walks around butt naked. Are you kidding me? If I'm at home and I don't have shit to do, I know I don't have to get out anytime soon. I'm not wearing any clothes. Why? Okay. Why? What for? Clothes are overrated. They are. Like, ugh. I I prefer if I'm at home chilling. And I don't got nowhere to be. Mm-hmm. I'm not wearing any clothes. I'm tell you, I'm None. telling you, I will be with my man sitting there. I like tell you, I have a whole conversation with him. Okay, <laughs> whole but conversation, naked. butt naked, just like Bucket. how was your day today? But look at these people and these little tips: left, right, left, left, right, up, left, left. right, up, down, down. B A B. Okay, now, no, now you get into the game. Uh, uh, uh. Look, Brian, sucking on them is one of the best parts of lovemaking, in my honest opinion. Yes. If like she likes that. That's foreplay. Yeah, mm-hmm. if she likes that, that's that's bomb foreplay. Um, tongue game. They don't know nothing about it. Mel, you better Lord, teach them. Lord. Use your damn tongue. <laughs> Man, that tongue can be amazing. You're using it right. I mean, everybody should like to walk around naked. Like, it's so freeing. And you know what else? It helps with your self-confidence in yourself. Walk, I promise, walk around naked mm-hmm. for not one day. Do it days in a row, repeatedly, until you get used to it. Because if, if you're naked and you feel ashamed or, like, you need to cover up or, uh, no, if I'm getting some water, I'm walking to that kitchen butt ass naked if i need to go adjust the top the temperature of the air conditioner i'm butt ass naked i ain't covering shit up so um yeah love your birthday suit because i'm telling you it does wonders for your self-confidence if you're able to look in the mirror and like what you see Mm -hmm. and if you're not there do whatever the hell you need to do to get there because Mm -hmm. i'm telling you it's a wonderful feeling. Fluffy and all. No clothes. Fuck em. That's what I'm saying. Like, one thing, a lot of people, they, they put these stereotypes of what you're supposed to look like. But, man, a, a woman with sh- shape and stuff to grab, and that's what you want. You want them love handles. You want, you know, you want the Damn. extra fluffiness. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm talking about. That's a contra code. Okay, you're Artwan, you're the second person to tell me that I should have been wearing a white tank top. I'm sorry. Uh, this tank top is pretty flimsy and low key it's see through, but 
can't really see. Yeah, you can't really see it, but I like it. It says coffee days and there we go. We see nipple. What in the world? <laughs> whiskey night. Coffee days and whiskey night. Even though I don't really whisk, I don't drink whiskey. I need this shirt to say coffee days and vodka night because vodka is my drink. So I'm gonna get with my, you know, shirt maker or whatever, and I'm I'm gonna get one that says coffee days, vodka night. Or well, we, do. Tonight, so we do. We do. Honestly, we I think we I'm do drinking. need some lust exchange um tank tops, like something. Yes, like, I think that's I, what we I've need been to do. Trying to uh like our logo, I've been told that in order to make a shirt with our logo, it needs to be in a in a certain type of format in order for it to look well on a shirt. And I'll have to get with someone else because the person I got with hasn't gotten back to me on you know, um, changing the format of our file to whatever format they need. So, yeah, I'll get on that after this show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, we're definitely going to have shirts soon that say Let's Exchange with our logo on it that's at the top, you know, corner. I don't know if y'all can see it. I can. But, um, anyways. Um, yeah, we're going to get it. We're going to yeah. get it. Thank you. We're going to get it. I tried to... my little my, my my little bitties. I tried to push them up, make them <laughs> look like something for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all enjoying them, cause <laughs> you know, yeah, cause I know. Okay. Us itty bitty women, we gotta you know strap them up, put them up, and push them out just a little bit. Now see her right there; she can just shake them. I gotta make them shake. <laughs> But they're a mouthful. They are a mouthful. So. Hey, that's 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 all you need. If you got a mouthful or a handful, that's all you damn need. Okay. And some people don't like, you know, some people like the little itty bitty women. So you got to give the the titties, the little titties, love too. So I just had to push them up, y'all. <laughs> and they said this is so fulfilling. So <laughs> uh, I saw the headlight. That's right. You was gonna get a little headlight. You was going to yeah, get a look. Was, <laughs> Let me, uh, that was inev inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say, maybe I should, you know, operate more. I, I should operate like this more often. You should. It, I mean, honestly, I mean, not, not, you know, because I said I, I love, <laughs> I'm a woman that loves breast. Me and, too. And I can say that Nikki has a nice set. So, any way you can highlight those and accentuate that just a little bit. Like Nikki, like honestly, Nikki doesn't need a whole lot to be real. She doesn't need, she don't need to be like I say, you know, some people just have to do it so much. Nikki, man, put on the top. <laughs> Throw your hair right. Man, Nikki be killing it. Look, Nikki, I really just lost my hair. Didn't do shit to it. I'm uh, over here sweating, but that's all right. Yeah. We doing this show tonight, but. Fuck it. <laughs> Y'all got to, you know, admire this woman because she walks around in her lingerie and everything. She is confident. And that's something, Very. like you said, that's something that you got to have. Just walk around naked and look at yourself and just fall in love with yourself. Like, I love, Absolutely. love me. I love Absolutely. who I am. I do. I do. It <laughs> the hell? Yeah. Damn, the city's got me <laughs> Not hypnotized. <laughs> they watching when you laugh, look. <laughs> they was here for it today. They was here for it every time. See, I need, I don't have those problems. I laugh and they don't go anywhere. Ha, ha, ha. Look, I say it every once in a while. I just don't, you know, they come, I, you know, every, every once in a while, I'll give you I don't have them big or... breast problems. I just, you know, I just got to, you know, you know. <laughs> I'll touch them so y'all can see them just a little bit, but uh, all shapes and sizes. All shapes and sizes, okay? <laughs> yeah. Big, small, weak. There you go. It it really, truly doesn't carnival, matter. Carnival, love them all. I said carnival. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ooh, there you go. Not five a.m. Hey, why does I 
that was that I that's what time I woke up this morning and I haven't been to sleep since. I woke up at five o'clock in the morning this morning and I ain't been able to go back to sleep. So do you have those damn titties that when you lay down and you be in your face and going all over the place? I don't have that. Oh yeah. So nine times out of ten, when I go to sleep, I'm wearing a tank top and probably nothing else. So you know, they're tucked away nice and neat in the tank top when I go to bed. But when I wake up, you know, one is usually hanging outside of the tank top. Mm -hmm. The other one's facing the other way. Or they're all up on my chin. Like, <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's, ridic it's ridiculous. <laughs> but it is what it is. I love my titties. So. Thank you, Mike. Hey. Making me feel good. I'm, look, I'm not so conscious <laughs> about my size. I tell you. I love to show my little nipples and, and, and my you shouldn't titties. be. Oh, I love you it. You got some athletic boobies, but for all occasions. Thank you. Well, Dre, Thank you. Dre, some some men are ass men. They don't give a good god dang about titties. So mm -hmm. Dre, Dre McClendon is an ass man, but after tonight, I have a new Nikki got them titties too. Just here you go. There Nikki you go. does that roll over and have a titty. Hey, dude, if if you see a titty in your face, the only proper response to that is put it in your damn mouth. There you go. And nothing else. Nothing else needs to be said after that. If you mm -hmm. see a bare ass titty, put that shit in your mouth. You we never know what will happen. Loving after that. this topic. If you all met my sports <laughs> right about now, I bet you're loving it tonight. <laughs> Helicopter titties. What? What oh, the hell are oh, helicopter titties? Talk, I'm probably talking oh, about kind of pull them up and get, no, move them around. Uh, and... uh, uh, uh. That's <laughs> uncomfortable for me. I don't I don't know how women with big ass titties can make them. <laughs> no, I, I can't. That's not comfortable for me. <laughs> Thank oh, you. No. This is every Hello, day. This is your first kids. time. <laughs> if your first time tuning in to us, we we talk about the facts. <laughs> But we get to drinking and we start, you know, we keep it real with y'all. So tune in every week, every Wednesday. It's every Wednesday. 